upgraded boards. Part of the angle, trying to avoid the glare. I want to look at a few examples involving an infinite series. So, <clears throat> uh, the first one is hopefully pretty straightforward. I want to look at the infinite sum uh, from n equals 2 to infinity of 1 over the natural log of n. Okay, I'm hoping that this is pretty straightforward. Uh, in a question like this, I recommend going through uh, the possible tests you have. Okay, so uh, one thing that's always easy to check is the divergence test. The divergence test says that if the sequence, okay, if I take the sum man and I think of it as a sequence, and I think the limit it then goes to infinity, okay, if that does not tend to zero, then the series diverges. If I take this sum man and I take the limit it then goes to infinity uh, of the sequence, the sequence will tend to zero because ln uh, tends to infinity and then goes to infinity. So this will tend to zero. What can I say about that then? Nothing. I can make no uh, basically important conclusion there. Okay, so this doesn't help me, right? Um, the other thing you might want to look at is uh, integral test. What about the integral test? When do you use the integral test? Basically, you look at the sum and, and you say to yourself, is this something I can take the integral of? Either by use substitution, usually use substitution, or just maybe a straightforward antiderivative. So this is not going to work out either, really, right? Um, after that, I mean, it's not alternating series, so I can't resort to the alternating series test. Um, after that, I can basically do some sort of comparison. So I'm going to go with comparison. Uh, let's go with this one, okay? Uh, let's see what we can do, okay? And this is one of the trickier ones, I believe. Um, the trickier methods for showing the divergence or convergence of um, and an infinite series. Um, so let's see. I want to compare okay, so I notice a lot of people they have trouble with the comparison test showing their work. So you have to justify things. So uh, what I can say here is that the natural log uh, of n is is uh, let's see, it's less than or equal to n. Um, first of all, you may not come up with this comparison right away. So I'm going to just draw a picture to somewhat convince you that this is true. Okay, If I have this sort of thing, okay, I only care about n being uh, greater than or equal to 2. Okay, Here is ln. You absolutely need to know what the graph of natural log looks like. So here is y equals ln of n, okay? And then here is y equals n. Here is y equals n. So what I'm saying here is that for n greater than or equal to 2, since that's what our, uh, we are concerned with here, uh, natural log of n is definitely less than or equal to n. Okay, look at my picture. Okay, this thing is decreasing. This is basically has a slope which is constant. So no matter what, actually, eventually, it doesn't even matter, remember, for a finite number of terms, finite number of values of n, uh, we, this may not be true, but as long as an infinite number of values of n this is true for, uh, we're good to go. So this is definitely true. Uh, and it's actually true um, for, for n uh, greater than or equal to 2. So this is my first inequality. Okay. Um, from this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the reciprocal of both sides. Now remember, when I take the reciprocal of both sides, in other words, 1 over ln of n, I need to switch the inequality. That's 1 over n. Okay. Now, how nice. This works out perfectly. Okay. Uh, because I know something about 1 over n. So, since, since the infinite series n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n diverges, series, 
then the sum from n equals 2 uh, to infinity of 1 over ln of n also got rid of. So that takes care of that. I want to just mention uh, one other thing about this. Uh, first of all, first of all, it doesn't matter if it starts at 1. If this starts at 2, if it starts at 1, I can just change this to 2. If I change this to 2, it still diverges. It's still divergent features, it doesn't matter. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is, what if this was not my initial guess? I mean, everything kind of comes down to this, right? What if I don't initially guess this correctly? What if I instead maybe made this comparison? N squared. And in an exam situation, you may do this. Well, what happens when I take the reciprocal? This would be squared, but this over here would be a convergent p-series. If I have a convergent p-series, which is less than something uh, which I, well, less than something else, okay? This converges, something bigger than that. I can't say anything about it. So it doesn't lead me anywhere. It doesn't help me at all. So um, that's one of the motivations here for choosing just n. And again, in an exam situation, you may not notice this right away. You may have to mess around with this and see what's going to happen. All right, so this takes care of just an example. I'm going to make another one regarding a, a more difficult example.